Hello, welcome to Maths with Jay. So we're going to solve the inequality 10 minus 2w is less than 7. And then we'll show the answer on the number line. And what we'll do, because this is a bit tricky, with the negative coming before the uh, unknown, I will show you three different ways of solving this inequality. And then it's up to you to, to choose the method you like to use. You only need to use one method when you're doing an exam question like this. And then um, we'll do the usual two checks and then we'll show the answer on the number line. So method number one for part A. What I'm going to do here is I think the easiest way to solve an inequality like this is to add 2w to both sides. So if we do that, then on the left hand side, we just have 10. So then we have 10 is less than, and we're adding 2w to both sides. So it will appear on the right hand side, like that. So if 10 minus 2w is less than 7, then 10 must be less than 2w plus 7. And really, we could think of this as saying, 2w plus 7 is greater than 10. So we could write it like that. So it's kind of like we're swapping the left and right hand sides around, but we need to make sure we change the direction of the inequality when we do that. So we've got 2w plus 7 is greater than 10. And now that's a much easier problem to solve. So we can subtract 7 from both sides giving us 2w is greater than 10 minus 7, so that's 3, and then divide both sides by 2, so w is greater than 3 over 2, or 1.5. So that's one method of solving this inequality. Another way would be to start off by subtracting 10 from both sides. So let's see what happens if we do that. So subtracting 10 from the left-hand side, we'd get minus 2w, is less than, and subtract 10 from the right hand side as well. So 7 minus 10 is negative 3. And then we would need to divide both sides by negative 2. Now this is where you need to be careful. Because when you multiply or divide an inequality by a negative, you need to change the direction of the inequality. Let's just have a look at why that is. If we look at an ordinary number situation. The number 5 is less than 8, isn't it? But if I think about negative 5 and negative 8, which number is bigger now? It's a negative 5, isn't it? So we've now got negative 5 is greater than negative 8. So that's just an example using ordinary numbers to show you why we need to change the direction of the inequality in the example that we're doing here. So when we divide by negative 2, w is greater than negative 3 divided by negative 2, so w is greater than 1.5. So this second method is a much faster way of getting the answer, but you're more likely to go wrong if you forget about changing the direction of the inequality. And a third method it's using the same kind of idea that we've just had to use because we're going to end up changing the direction of the inequality again, and let's see how that will work. So the third method I would use would be to multiply the whole inequality through by negative one as our first stage. So what we're doing is changing the signs of everything. So instead of 10 minus 2w, I'm going to write 2w minus 10, and then I'm changing the direction, so instead of less than, I'm writing greater than. And instead of 7, I'm writing negative 7. So we have multiplied through by negative 1. And then we would add 10 to both sides, so 2w is greater than negative 7 plus 10, so that would be 3. And then w is greater than 1.5. So you can see three different methods of solving this inequality. And of course, one way to check that you've got the inequality the right way around would be to do the second check. So the first check that we do is to check for equality. In other words, we're checking what happens when w is actually equal to 1.5. 
So when w is equal to 1.5, 10 minus 2 times w is 10 minus 2 times 3. That's equal to 7, so that's what we want. And then, because we found that w has to be greater than 1.5, we're going to choose any number greater than 1.5, so I'm going to choose 2. And we want to find that the answer of 10 minus 2w is less than 7. So we've got 10 minus 2 times 2 is 10 minus 4, so it's 6. And that is less than 7. So we have found that we have got the right answer. And then we want to represent this not answer on the number line. So if w is greater than 1.5, we want to indicate 1.5 on the number line with an empty circle because w can't actually be equal to 1.5 and then showing that it's greater than 1.5 we want to do that. If you're using a pencil and you need to make sure that whoever is reading your work can see it you can ju just write just above the number line like that instead. The important part is to show that you've got an empty circle where we've got the 1.5 on the number line.